as we await the arrival of Kansas, some notes on the game. Uh, Jayhawks winning their fourth straight game improves to 28-7 overall. This marks a third straight season, the ninth time in uh, 15 years under Coach Bill Self that Kansas has won 28 or more games. The Jayhawks advanced to the second round of the NCAA tournament for the 12th straight year dating back to 2007. Kansas improves its NCAA tournament record at 104 wins, 45 losses, including a 5-0 record in games played in Wichita. Jayhawks are 33-2 in their last 35 NCAA tournament round of games. Penn, uh, the Quakers, uh, who had a three-game winning streak snap, closed out the season with a 24-9 record. The procedure for this uh, post-game press conference, we have an opening statement from Coach Self, then we'll uh, field questions for the student-athletes before we dismiss them, and then we'll follow up with uh, questions for Coach Self. This time we're taking an opening statement from Coach Self. Congratulations. Well, we're, we're obviously very, very happy we won. Uh, but it wasn't a 16-point game. It was much closer than that. And, and uh, we got off to such a bad start, and they were so much better than us early. We were fortunate we were only down, I think, 1911. Uh, we felt like we could have been down, you know, 12 or 15 easily at that point. But, uh, but a after, after about the five-minute mark of the first half, in the last 20, I thought we played much better, and and certainly we we uh, we didn't settle as much and drove the ball downhill. So it was a great first win. Of course, any win is great this time of year. Okay, at this time we'll field questions for our student athletes. You have a question, raise your hand. Our microphone holder will come to you. Backside on the far. Chris Lazarus with Kansas alumni. Devonte, would you just comment on what you did in the? Second half of the of the first half to try to get momentum back. Uh, just trying to be aggressive. Uh, uh, one of the assistant coaches told me um, that I needed to attack more off the ball screen uh, because they were they were really they weren't really hedging it. They were just kind of like bluffing and falling back. So he told me I could get to the pain, and I was just trying to uh, get it downhill and uh, either get a layup or, or uh, throw it up and, and let the big man go and get it. So uh, just being aggressive. Other questions? On the right side, on the aisle. Dave Scrida from the AP. Devante, uh, how much have you thought about last year's performance in the NCAA tournament that, that ended your season? As far as? Uh, I, I just your struggles in that game, how much has that motivated you, carried you? Uh, I really haven't thought about it at all. You know, I just, you know, it's a whole new year. Uh, you got to focus on, on what you can control. And uh, I can't control anything that happened in the past, so I'm just focused on, on what the present is presenting me and focus on my teammates and going out and trying to compete. On the aisle. Uh, Coach, can you talk about your team's uh, composure early in the game when you got down about 10 early in that one, came back really quick after? Well, <clears throat> I think uh, I didn't think we showed a lot uh, early. I thought we bailed them out by shooting some contested shots and, and uh, you know, we, you look at it and you think we're not playing good defense, but usually if you hold a team to 19 points and I mean in 13 minutes, you think that's not your defense. It's probably your offense. But the problem is we only had 11 in 13 minutes. But you know the lead came off a little bit late and Devonte got us going in the in the first half. But but uh, I, I, if, if if we were poised at all, it's just the fact that we didn't panic. Uh, uh, but I don't think our execution was good by any stretch. Again, if we can direct our questions to student athletes and we'll get them back in the locker room, then we'll have Coach Self finish up right there in the back. Yeah. Kelton Brooks, Hutch News. Uh, Malik, Penn was one of the, I guess, Trinity picks to upset Kansas. Did you guys come to the game thinking about that at all? Um, I mean, it was in the back of our head, but it wasn't the main focus. Uh, you know, we just wanted to come out, execute our scouting report, and um, just go out, have fun, play hard. So. Uh, I mean, it was in the back of our mind, but it wasn't the main focus. In the back, go ahead. For Devontae, uh, Jack Nitto, KJHK News, was there, a, was there a moment or a specific play in the first half where you know the team wasn't making the jump shots, but you kind of took over? Was there a specific play that kind of triggered you to kind of take the lead? Uh, 
Not, not really. Um, you know, I just kept telling the guys, you know, keep shooting. Uh, we can't keep missing. Um, so, but just focus on defense, and, and we'll start making shots. Uh, not at any specific, you know, play that happened. Uh, just being aggressive and talking to my teammates. Other questions for our student athletes? Okay, we're going to go in the back, then we'll go in the front. Well, we'll get you in the front here, sir. Go ahead. Uh, Zach Frazilla, New York Post. After watching them on film and then watching them up close, did that really feel like a 116 game to you guys? And um, do you think that's a good way to start the tournament by getting pushed? We'll start with Malik and Devontae. Um, I think those guys, um, they were better than a 16 seed, if you ask me. And um, I mean, uh, the, the same way that they played on film, we knew that's how they was going to come out, you know, shooting threes, back cutting, and things like that. And um, I mean, they did everything that was on the scouting report. Uh, just like Malik said, I think they was better than a one seed. Um, I mean, a 16 seed. And uh, the way they play, um, it's hard to guard because they backdoor you, and you're so worried about not getting backdoored that they they pop back in it and they shoot the ball so fast. So uh, they they run a good offense, and, and they got a lot of good skilled players that uh, know how to move well without the ball and just play real fundamental. Uh, so you know, you gotta get them a lot of props. They play real well and real hard. We had a, didn't we have a question in the back? Okay, go ahead. Devonta, you were going at will, just not finishing your shots early. Did you just think it would just be a matter of, of time before you got it going here? Yeah, that's exactly what I told Malik earlier. I was like, man, I'm just not, not finishing, not making my shots that I usually make. So uh, just told me keep being aggressive. Um, you know, I got to be aggressive for us. Uh, especially offensively, uh, getting downhill and trying to make plays for myself and the team. So um, I just stayed aggressive, and I knew that it would fall. Any other questions for our student athletes? Okay, thank you very much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. Kansas locker room still open for about another 20 minutes. At this time, we'll take questions for Coach Self on the aisle. Bill, Mike Jensen from the Philadelphia Inquirer. When you recruited D Devante, D I mean, there's a difference between ag aggressive and effective. Did you, did you know he could, did you have a feeling he could do something like this at these kinds of times? When we recruited him? Yeah, way back. Uh, I knew that he would be a good player. I didn't know that he was going to be a first team All-American. Uh, and we didn't know Frank was going to be National Player of the Year when we recruited him. He went to, you know, he signed with Towson. So, you know, we've been so fortunate to have you know, these guys uh, uh, each for four years and, and, uh, and uh, watch their development. And, and, and certainly, uh, I don't think Devontae was his best today, but, but, but he was terrific when, it, when, we, when we needed separation the most and, and made some timely plays the second half. But we, we've seen this uh, uh, many, many times with him. And, and uh, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody could ever predict a guy would go from an unknown, unknown to a first-team All-American. But, but, but he, 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 is, he is one terrific guard. Other questions for Coach Self in the back there? Then we'll go to the front. Sure. Bill Mark Narducci, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Just could you give me your impression on Penn? I mean, it, it, you had given them so much respect coming into this game. Just what did you think after playing them? Uh, I think they were probably even better than what I thought they would be watching on tape. I knew we'd have a hard time guarding them. And if you told me before the game that we, they'd only get 60, I would say that we had an unbelievable defensive game. Uh, uh, they can all pass, and, and they play well without the ball, like, like the guys said. And, and defensively, they don't pressure, but they, they make it hard to get all the way to the basket, and then they do do a good job of contesting the three-point line. So uh, we had to make a lot of shots in between, and, and, and if we got to the basket a, a few times. But I, I think they're really good. That, you know. I, you know, I, I, I don't study this like some may, but I look at their RPI and they're 111. And I look at their BPI and they're 100. Well, there's teams in our league uh, uh, that, that are about that equal. And, and uh, I know how hard, how hard we had to play and how much we could struggle against teams in our league. And, and uh, uh, I, I, I don't think they disappointed in how they played. I bet, I bet Steve would say that they, you know, they missed some shots in the last 10 minutes, but I would think he said they played extremely well. In the front on the aisle, then we're going far left side. Coach, you, you got Yudoka in there a little bit early in the game, but Mitch Lightfoot stepped up huge for you guys. Can you just talk yeah. about his success today? Well, he had five to six minutes with Doak. That's the max we could have. 
And so using three the first half, and really I was, you know, if, if you watched him, he, he didn't move very well. And uh, we would have put him in the second half if we would have needed to, but foul situations didn't, di didn't dictate that. So uh, uh, we decided to go ahead and hope we can get him at 80%, 85% tomorrow for full practice and then have him available to us on, uh, on uh, Saturday. But, but I, thought, I thought Mitch and Silvio both struggled the first half in large part because the angles of our screens were so poor. But the second half, I thought Mitch played great. I, I, I thought defensively he was good. He rebounded the ball. He had low hands on every back cut, which, you know, there were some guys open. They just couldn't throw it because our, our hands were in the right spot. And, and, uh, and then, of course, he made some timely baskets for us, too. The left side. Coach, uh, what are the dynamics uh, among um, good, proud athletes? When you, the, the halftime box score was pretty dramatic. I don't know if I've ever seen one where, where your leading score has 19 and then the next has five. Do, 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 does everybody beyond uh, Devontae take that to heart and say, uh, you know, change that around a little bit? Do I, do I say change that at no, halftime? Do, do, do the guys. Do the guys look at that, do you I think, and I, see? I, I don't know that I told anybody he had 19 and a half. Maybe they knew. Uh, you know, we didn't play very well uh, offensively the first half at all. We stunk. And, and uh, uh, it's hard for us to play well offensively unless we make shots because we don't have a big guy that we can play through right now. I mean, usually we have Dope throw it in there, and, you know, he can get you four or five baskets a half, you know, and, and we just didn't have that. So. You know, he obviously took it on himself, but the way they defended us, we needed a guard to take it on himself to get downhill. So, uh, uh, yeah, he was terrific to end the first half. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, we played K-State the other day, if I'm not mistaken, and Malik had 20 at half when he was basically our only offense. Uh, uh, so, you know, this time of year when you don't play well, you need one player to kind of carry you, and he certainly did today at the end of the half. We have five minutes left in the interview session. We're going to stay on the left side in the plaid shirt, then we'll go to you in the back. Yeah. Coach, you said yesterday you hoped this would be kind of a home away from home for you guys down here in Wichita. What did you make of the, the fan support today, and, and how does it compare to other venues uh, you've traveled to? Well, it's as good as it could be today for us. I, I can't, you know, as little as we did to excite anybody uh, for a long period of time, I thought the fans were terrific. And, and then the second half, uh, uh, obviously, we played better. But it was great. I don't, I don't know what the place seats, 15 or 16, and there had to be 12. Uh, at least that that were that were pro KU, so that certainly didn't hurt us today. Staying on the left side, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Tyler Jones, KUJH, uh, coach. Uh, your uh, thoughts on uh, Legerald Vic today? Fourteen points, yeah. five of seven from the field. What'd you like from his performance? Well, he, he's he's played better of late, and uh, he was more aggressive today. I, I still wish he'd drive the ball more, but uh, uh, but you know he he was good today. He was good on both ends, and you know he made two big threes for us. Uh, uh, but the biggest thing is he, he, he's playing off of other guys. He's not forcing it, but still yet he's being pretty aggressive. I, I, I thought statistically, without question, you would say he had, the, he had the, probably the best game of the day. Uh, uh, he and Mitch, you know, because it took Devontae a lot of shots to get 29. But, but, but I, I, I thought, I thought LeGerald was really solid. Going to go on the right side on the aisle and then have time for one more question uh, after this. Zach Ziller, New York Post. Bill, today, obviously, you mentioned the crowd. And Saturday, it's... You know, all reports it's going to be another, you know, huge Kansas, Kansas fans everywhere. How much of an advantage do you think that is today, and how much advantage do you think it will be Saturday? You know what, I, I do think it's an advantage uh, in certain stretches. I don't think it's always an advantage. I think sometimes playing at home can create a situation where there's uh, added pressure. Uh, uh, you know, last year we played in Kansas City, and we, we, we had it rolling the first game, and it was jumping. In the second game, you know, we couldn't make a shot, and it was. I think the guys felt like that that uh, you know the, every fan was holding their breath uh, uh, every possession. So, you know, I, it's definitely more positive than not positive, without question. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it plays a huge role uh, uh, in certain segments of a game. But when you get rolling or you get on a little roll, it definitely gives you momentum. The fans do. Time for one final question out there. Okay, congratulations. Okay, we'll see you, you tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. Kansas interview sessions tomorrow. Uh, student athletes at 135 to 155. Then Coach Self will return back here at 155. We're going to have uh, Penny up here shortly.
Again, the satellite coordinates for today is Galaxy 17, Transponder 17B, the download frequency 12035.5 horizontal. Same format for Penn, we have an opening statement from the head coach and take questions for student athletes before resuming back with the head coach. Okay, at this time, we're asked, uh, Coach, for his thoughts on the game. Thank you. Yeah, I first give Kansas a ton of credit. I um, thought they played a terrific game, and I couldn't be more proud of my guys and how we played and competed and did everything I would hope and just thought it was a great college basketball game, in particular for about 35 minutes, and um, they finished this off. I think fatigue happened, and... But as I said, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. Okay, at this time, we we'll take uh, questions for Penn student athletes. Okay, on the aisle here. Darnell, just from an X and O point of view, what, what regrets are you going to take away from this one? Um, more or less, uh, just some ball screen defense. Um, could have been a little tougher there, you know. Uh, it, it was a credit to, to, to their guard, Graham. He was so good in it, you know what I mean? He knows how to play it. So I wish we were a little bit more, we, we spent a little bit more time just getting him in and out of rhythm. Um, but to that credit, I mean, we, we, we did a good job. Um, we, played, we played as hard as we could play. Um, and and that's, all, that's all that I asked for. That's all that the coaches asked for. It's just that we try to give our best effort. On the aisle here. Uh, Darnell, you guys held Kansas and, and especially Graham in check for the first 12 minutes or so, but then he really went off at the, the end of the first half. What changed there? Uh, just, a, again, a credit to him, you know what I mean? He, he realized what was going on in the game. He has a great feel for the game. You know, he knew being a senior leader also that he needed to step up, you know, and, and, and force the tone and, and create, and he did a good job at that, you know. Uh, he got our guys. Uh, in rotations, you know, he was able to finish at the rim. So, again, it's just a credit to him. Just, in a sense, just taking over. Other questions for our student athletes? AJ, can you just, just offer sort of what, what the feel for the game was in, in, inside, uh, especially at the offensive side of the ball? Um, I mean, just like it has been all year, we were focusing on limiting the um, inside touches around the hoop, while at the same time guarding the ball screens uh, to not allow those um, those uncontested jumpers trying to get those contested while still guarding back and not letting them make those lobs. Um, in our film that we watched on them, a big emphasis was on the lobs, and if the big man steps up in the paint to try to stop the downhill drive, they like to throw that. So I think, for the most part, I think we did a pretty good job in um, cutting them off and taking away that lob to not allow those easy dunks or easy layups at the rim for the guard. But uh, they were still able to, to take advantage of those, of those ball screens, whether it was on the three or um, being able to get to the rim on the weak side. Stay on the aisle there. Go ahead. Both the AJ and Darnell, obviously there was a long way to go, but when you're 10 points up on Kansas and the state of Kansas just – what are what's filtering through your mind, Darnell? Why don't you answer that first, please? Uh, just to stay stay poised. You know they're going to make a run. Um, their fans fans really did a good job of getting them back in it. You know what I mean? Their their support was never wavering. But for us, we just we just tried to find we we were, we just had to find a way to stay poised throughout it all, knowing that they're a good team and and good teams go on runs and and like we went on like we went on runs. They were, they were able to do the same thing. AJ, same you, question. <clears throat> we were just trying to, um, to realize that uh, as a good team as they are, to, to take that punch that they're going to give us. You know, they're going to go on a run uh, inevitably. 
what we were focus on we were focusing on is how we were going to handle that how we were going to respond to it um, taking that and making it as short as possible getting our stops and then getting back into our flow running our game our speed was um, I think it was crucial to um, to getting us back into the game in the second half but Eventually, they, they kept making runs, and we kept faltering. Any other questions for our student athletes? OK, guys, thank you very much. Darnell, outstanding career. This time, we'll take questions for Coach in the back row on the aisle, and then we'll go up front. Uh, Steve, Mark Narducci, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, in the second half, after a few minutes, it looked like you put um, Woods on Graham. Did you ever? The reason, what was the reasoning maybe not using him in the first half on him? Well, Darnell and Antonio are both great defenders. I think that's why we're a very good defensive team. I think Darnell picked up his third, and we were more inclined to, to get Antonio. Now, look, he, he got 29 points. He took 24 shots. That's kind of what we wanted. A um, couple plays at the rim I thought we guarded really well. Call didn't go our way. But... Our game plan and the way the kids executed, I think it was 62-54, six and change against number one Kansas in this building, and we have already missed eight foul shots. Um, defense was awesome. They were five for 18, got them shoot 18 hard twos, something we preach. They got seven threes for a team that makes 10. I think the big difference in the game was their ability their athleticism and length to stay rotation players. I couldn't, we do, our inability to go deep into our bench, I thought, wore, wore on our players. When we had open shots during that last six minutes in particular, I thought the fatigue really played a factor. Okay, stay on the out. Yeah, we'll go there and then we'll move it up front. Steve, right, right here, uh, you mentioned the, the free throws. How much are you going to wince looking back at that? And then, uh, obviously, Kansas made a lot of free throws. And, and the other part is, is when you had a 10-point lead, what did you feel like needed to happen to get you to halftime that didn't quite happen? Obviously, they were gonna, there was going to be a run at some point. You know, Mike, when you have a 10-point lead, it's, it, it really isn't much. It's a little over three possessions, and it's Kansas. You know, you got to try to keep doing what you're doing. I do feel foul shots were a big part of this. And this is, unfortunately, was part of our DNA this year. Uh, we were over to, able to overcome it. But if you're going to beat a team like Kansas in this environment, you just got to make them. It just, they're, it's more than just the points. It's a, it's a your morale kind of gets a hit. Um, your defense may sulk a little bit. But um, I thought that was a big part of this. But, as I said, I thought we, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe for long stretches. And uh, unfortunately, the, the free throw shooting probably finally got us. Other questions for the head coach in the back, standing up? Um, coach, first off, uh, hats off on an impressive fight today. Um, we saw you make multiple reappearances to the NCAA tournament with Cornell. What are your expectations moving forward with this team? Yeah, Penn is an um, incredible place to coach basketball. Um, y your ability to c recruit outstanding student athletes in a place that supports basketball, loves basketball, um, I sense that we're going to try to keep building, keep getting better. Um, I think we have a great future. We have a lot of young players that are a big part of this. I love our, our young group and their mentality. and. I would hope that we get back here, but there's no guarantees. But we're going to start working pretty quickly on trying to figure out how to get better. And, and our league is really good. And we're really young, all the teams in our league. So this isn't, you know, I, I think we're a good representation of the league. But by no means are we the only team that feels that they're going to have a great future ahead of them. Still have a couple minutes left in this session. Any other questions for Coach? Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, guys.